Ohanese threatens to sue Tinubu government over Southeast military slots. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. Ohanese President General Chief Emmanuel Iwanyawu, who spoke in Wiri, the Imo State Capital, during a press conference, described President Bola Tinubu's administration as unfair to the Southeast region. The Apex Ipo Socio Cultural Organization, Ohanese Indibu Worldwide, is contemplating suing the Nigerian government for appointing only five ministers from the Southeast. Ohanese President General Chief Emmanuel Iwanyao, who spoke in Owere, the Imo State capital, during the press conference, described President Bola Tinubu's administration as unfair to the Southeast region. According to him, it is unfair for the president to give the South East only five slots for ministerial appointments while other zone, zones boast of ten ministers. Johannes leader said such lopsided appointments violate the principles of federal character. He also appealed to the Nigerian government to create more states in the southeastern region to meet up with other geopolitical zones of the country, which either either have six or seven states. Now Believe you me, this thing, this thing, uh, this talk now, that nobody will listen to you now. I'm so sorry to see. Nobody will listen to you people. No jokes apart. Nobody will listen to waiting that they talk. So they will not listen to, to you people. And yes, for those who are saying create more state, why are they suggesting creating more state? Creating more state because... It is only the southeastern region, I think, that they have just five. They have five states, while the where some places have six. And I think the north, I don't know if it is the northwest, I think it's the northwest that have seven states. Imagine seven states. So, of course, the allocation of anything going into that particular region is always high. So, yes, creating more states. But the thing is, when it comes to this appointment of a thing, we have we have gone to the point where we see we see things like this as normal, and it is very bad. People are not supposed to be coming out to make this kind of statement before the government does the needful. The just previous government that is what they did. They gave out lopsided appointment, put their brothers, and you know, within they pay me for the lopsided appointment is not even the lopsided appointment itself. It is the fact that the people who then put this, some of them do not know jack about that particular place. Meaning, at the end of the day, you still put person there, but we go still suffer them. If you put somebody who is actually going to do the work, then it was okay. At least you put somebody who goes to do the work, you know, and the person is not going to be biased. But you go still put person for ministry, BC work, he knows how we do. And you still put somebody that can go go there, do what you're not supposed to do. And before you know it, that particular ministry will be worse off than the person who met it. Okay. Criminals, I thought you guys want restructuring slaves without shame. Why? Why? Why, why are you referring to the Southeastern region as slaves? This is our fight. <laughs> this is our fight for this country. When you go end, this thing that. We used to, our the, the politicians used to divide us. When are we going to come out of it? When are we going to tell ourselves, you know what, enough is enough? How many polling units and constituencies did Tinubu want in the region? Now they want to enjoy Bala Blue, Agbadu, Kasava, Amala, Iwedu government. My dear, unfortunately, had it been what you're saying now is what the right thing to say, I would have said, okay, I agree with you, but I cannot agree with you. You know why? Good. Tinubu's allocation, not just Tinubu, government allocation of appointment, government allocation of resources is not based on what did you bring to the table. Yes, it is based on federal character. What did I say? It is not based on what you bring to the table. It is based on federal character. It's just like you saying you're going to give a man respect, a man respect um, based on what he brings in. And you know that is, no matter how... No matter how uh, was the called, you look at it, it is crushing to a man. You are saying your husband respect is going to be based on how he supports in the house. 
that means the month where things are tough for him, you're not going to be giving him support. That is a very unfair thing to say. We're not talking about people who really, really, when you see them, you know, these people, they are doing all they can to make sure, they're doing all they rightfully can to make sure their families, you know, are okay. We're not talking about the, I mean, the lazy man. We're talking about the lazy man here. The man who sits and expects, you know, the wife should do everything for him, the wife should hand over to him. They're actually men like that. So coming out to say, uh, what in what in I'll give to Nobu, what, why do people not want to expect? It's because it is only normal. It is only normal that the federal character, you know, the federal character rule is, is adhered to whenever there is allocation of funds, resources, or what have you. Ohane well, is supported another candidate and still do. Your candidate is busy trying to kick out Tenumbu with your full support. Yet, you ask for more appointment. The president has appointed too many from the southeast. Sack some of them. The South has voted massively for B. Why should Tenumbu leave those who voted for him to appoint his opponent? Playing tribal politics keeps Biafra away from presidency. You want Biafra Republic and you want ministers at the same time. Wonders. Well, like I've said before, uh, it won't. This your and uh, what's it called? This your explanation is not going to hold. It does not hold water. Federal character principle should be adhered to when you are allocating the allocation of funds, resources. And the thing is, whether you like it or not, we are going to suffer for this. As in, the there's going to be there's going to be consequences of this. Any time you sacrifice merits on the altar of favoritism or nepotism. So what Tenumbu is doing is he's appointing people who helped him get, you know, to where he's going to, into government. Not necessarily people who actually know their owners. Not necessarily people who know what they're doing. So among those people now will be saying their point, there is a possibility that 50% of these people will not even know it than they do. Imagine the people who voted, who did not vote, you have mouth to go against your ministerial appointment. If you do not take action against those people, you haven't get a vote again forever and ever. If you like, don't give him your votes. But me, I'm saying, according to federal character rule, it is not 